Hello there, this is a tiny but a good looking line follower robot using M4 stack automatics. This is a two channel easy to build line follower robot with a direction visualization. I made this without writing a single line of code as I used UI Flow graphical coding platform to build this. Now in this video, let's see how I build this line follower robot. Let's get started with this video. So this is the M4 stack automatics. This is a ESP32 Pico based development board with a tiny 5x5 RGB LED matrix. That NeoPixel RGB LED matrix is connected to GPIO27. There is a button beneath the matrix and which is connected to GPIO39. It has also a 6886IMU sensor and a IR transmitter LED. All the pins are marked properly on the back side of the board. There are two ports, one is the USB Type-C port for updating code and this grow connector can be used for connecting external devices. That's all about the item matrix. Next we need two motors, you can use any motors but here I am using this Enten type tiny motors. Then we need IR sensors, I am using TCRT5000 sensor. We also need some other passive components, you can find complete details from the article. Here is the circuit diagram. Please check the article if you want to know how a line follower robot works. Here IR sensor is connected to two analog pins of the auto matrix, which is GPIO32 and GPIO33. The motors are connected to two digital pins via a simple BC547 based driver circuit. Nothing complex here. First I verified the circuit on a breadboard and made necessary adjustments. Then I soldered all the components on a common PCB. Here I didn't care about the soldering. I know it's messy, I'm not going to win a beauty competition, but our goal here is to make the circuit work. I have designed a couple of motor holders using Thinkercut, also wheels for the robot. I used TPU filament for printing the wheels. Using the 3D printer holder, I placed the motors to robot and secured it with some copper wires. I finished all the connections according to our circuit diagram and finished the soldering job. You can use a small 3.7 volt battery to power the whole circuit. Now let's program the board. We can program this board using Arduino IDE, MicroPython and UI Flow graphical coding. I am going with the UI Flow method because it's interesting and new to me. To use UI Flow, first download the M5 burner tool. After installing, open and sign up with your account. Then select Atom and select the Atom matrix. Then download UI Flow 2.0. After downloading, configure and bend the UI Flow firmware to your Atom matrix. You can add your SSID and password for Wi Fi connection while configuring. Now go to UIFlow web editor. Now sign in with your same account. From here we can use graphical snippets to code. First click on USB device. It will show the connected item matrix. Select that. Just like Arduino code, it has setup section and loop section. For example, if we need a analog pin to read the IR values. For that we can just drag and drop a analog pin and initiate. We can just plot the colors on the matrix to display the same on the board. Here I have initiated two unlock pins and digital pins. In the loop section, I read the values and according to that values, I give conditions to turn on the motors and matrix. You can check the article for deeper explanation. Now we can upload the code to auto matrix and that's it. Here one of the analog pins in the grow connector so I connected a wire from there and connected to the circuit.
I made this track using standard electrical tape. You can use the same or you can print the track. You can find all the files and details of this project from the article. Link is given in the video description.